We've got a test in League going against Blackpool in League 1 today. And we're also playing Northampton Town in the Checker Tide Trophy South semi-final. What a mouthful that is. Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of the Portsmouth Save on FM18 as a result, of course, of the Southampton Youth Challenge. Now, every episode, I don't really want to go through that, so let's gloss over the Youth Challenge because this is going very well. Today, we're playing against Blackpool, which might not seem too hard a game, but there's only 9 points between us, so we've got to respect the opponents. And also, we've got Northampton Town in the South semi-final, which actually is the semi-final um, because as you can see, in the north, it's Lincoln and Scunthorpe. So if we can win this game, the highest opponent that we will face is Scunthorpe, who is 16th in League 1. Obviously, we need to beat Northampton, Northampton Towns to that um, in the prior. Last episode, then, we played against uh, Peterborough and MK Dons. Of course, beating Peterborough 4-0 and losing to MK Dons, uh, Gons, MK Dons Gutsonly, uh, but like, like penalty. But as you can see, since then, we've had a really good uh, run of games. Only two games, fair enough, but still. Um, we beat league leaders, le runaway league leaders rather, Blackburn, 3-0. As you can see, a goal in the first minute from Bennett. With Adam Armstrong continuing his uh, goal per game ratio. And uh, Brett Pittman getting a goal um, to seal that game. And then we played against uh, Southend, in which it was 1-1 at half-time. We scored to make it 2-1. And then Adam Armstrong scored another goal again. Brilliant sign and he's been to make it 3-1. And then Southampton. Southend did bring it back to get 3-2. But still, we got all the points out of that game. So today we're going to play against Blackpool at home. And then we're going to play against Northampton away at the Sickfield Stadium for the semi-final of the Checker Parade Paint Trophy. That's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Now, admittedly, I haven't done my team yet. But really, it shouldn't be too many changes from the last game. O'Keefe's got a suspension as a result of... Too many yellow cards, something along those lines. Um, but that looks good to me. And uh, to be honest, I want to keep the team as samey as possible, if that's a word. Samey, the same? Probably just the same. Got a bit of a drink on video. Summer fruits, Robinson's, lovely stuff. Obviously, you know, we've added water. Well, the thing hasn't got added water, but no, oh, never mind. Right, anyway. Um, come on, lads, show what you can do to keep this run going. Absolutely right. Obviously, if we can win today's game, I haven't shown the league table, I can appreciate that. But if we win today, there's quite a high, a high chance, if I can speak, that we will fit into the playoff place. Hopefully, either Charlton or Shrewsbury will lose points for us to do that. But Chowdhury has a lovely shot, and apparently it was only a couple of inches above the bar. Obviously, we can only dream of the situations if um, it's only 2D. But, you know, I don't really want it to lag for you guys, so I'm aware of that um, as well. Chowdhury then to Maine. Marcus Brown. Oh, that's a shocking pass. Delfonso, but that's also a shocking pass as well. Lovely ball from Burgess. And that wasn't really a lovely ball in the end. It's been quite scrappy uh, last last few minutes, it seems, in this game. But uh, at home, we've got a really good home record. Obviously, beating the league leaders 3-0 here last game. So it can't be too bad. So hopefully we can beat uh, Black, uh, Blackpool today. And Marcus Brown gets the goal to put us ahead and puts us in fifth in the table at the moment. So as you can see, it's really close. If we go on a good run, I would reckon that we could get second above Oxford. Obviously, we've got to do a lot of rebuilding before next season. Funnily enough, I, I keep saying this, but in quite a similar situation... To Lelujo, because obviously he got uh, Portsmouth promoted to the Championship. But of course, it's not all over yet. To get automatic promotion, we've got to get at least second. But hopefully, uh, we're going steering on the correct road, if you like. You know, we've got the most goals in the league, it seems, um, with that one scored there. But probably the, one of the most conceded as well, because my defences on FM are never too good. Uh, my mentality is really, if we score more than the opposition, we win. But anyway, Armstrong, lose the ball out. That's a bit unfortunate, but it was just a bit of a clash of legs, I suppose. There, But lovely ball from Del Funza to Cullen. He's in the box, and he beats the goalkeeper, and it's 1-1. Uh, Blackpool get a goal back. It's a bit disappointing, but, you know, oh well, we're not going to beat every team five minutes. It's going to be an uphill struggle. Well, just move my mem cam a little bit. I can't really get a balance at the moment. It's either way too high or it's too low. But I think that, yeah, that's, that's the suitable amount. You know, you can see me quite easily, and yeah, whatever. Anyway, long staff to Ryan. To Boyal. Is it Boyal? I'll be impressed if I've got that. Delfonso, Cullen, Kai Kai. Oh dear, Sully Kai Kai makes it 2 3rd. 2 1? Yes, 2 1. I was going to say, yeah, 2 1. 2 1 to Blackpool. I'm going to skip that because we don't want to watch it. And uh, this is quite a fall from grace. You know, we scored quite early on with Marcus Brown. And this is quite a fall from grace. We've just been sacked from Hensford Town on my other save. So, hopefully it doesn't go down the way that that did. But, um, hopefully, this isn't the start, that's what I was supposed to say, um, of a disaster, basically. Hopefully it shouldn't be, but uh, I feel like Hen uh, Hensford. Portsmouth have got quite lofty expectations, but I think we're meeting them at the moment. We've had Armstrong nearly getting another goal. Will his goal a game um, ratio enter off? So, he's only played four games for the club, so probably it will. Uh, but if it doesn't, that is lovely, you know, we get another goal. But as you can see, we've had a lot more shots than Blackpool, but they've actually had more shots on target, but we've got more possession, so in, th in theory, we should be getting a good chance very soon, just got to take those chances, of course, because 
A bit like cricket, catches win matches, whereas in this, you know, goals win matches. The more goals you score, the more probability you've got of winning. I'm just brilliant, aren't I? You know, fantastic I am. I'm like my clone as a pundit, really. But uh, Cullen's been untouchable for them so far, and I'm going to give the lads a, a, a slap, really. A slap a slap on the back, a slap on the hand, really. Uh, and it's a bit more than just a slap on the hand. It's, it's an angry one, because we're not doing good enough. Simple as. A bit naff. Naff, is that the word? Naff, bit rubbish basically. Um, Kennedy, we haven't really used him so far this save, uh, but he did pop up to me. In, he, he, you know, he didn't actually you know, message me, but whatever. Um, yeah, he did pop up to me in the under twenty threes, and I thought, oh god, this player played a lot before um, Jacket left, so he must have been injured or something like that to be demoted to the under twenty threes. But he's in the same ballpark as our. Um, first team play, so I don't see why he's not in the first team, but he's now, which is all good, but anyway, Armstrong struggling out on that wing, lack of support, but lovely support from Donahue. put it into the box for Lalkovic, into Kennedy, and there we go, that's why you promote players from the under-23s, even though they shouldn't be in the under-23s, you promote them anyway, because they score goals like that, to get you back in the game here at Fratton Park, and it is 2-2 now, and hopefully we can go on and win this, I don't really want to lose this, it's a bit embarrassing, to be fair, there's not really any game you want to lose, is there? But Don Who puts it over. Uh, it's actually a Blackpool player who gets to that. But Kennedy put it straight to Allsop. But Allsop really just put it in his own net, you know. Oh, well. Oh, well. It was, it was on target. You know, let's give the chap the goal. You know, the manager's been speaking. The manager behind the camera that you can't actually see, you know. You can't touch. I mean, if you... I'm trying to think where it would be. If you, like, go like that, you won't touch my skin. As I can. I don't know why, why I answered that argument, but, you know. Oh, well. Um, we've got to really sort this out because, well, if there's a goal in a minute, I'll shut up. But Brown has lost the ball to Kai Kai, so never mind. Puts the ball up. Burgess gets it back. Only temporarily, though, of course. Thompson gets it back. Well, they'll make around probably as well. Kennedy. It's Kelly on the right. Keep the ball, for goodness sake. Chowdhury. Stuart May. Brown. Kennedy. Will Armstrong get the winner? Chowdhury! That was so close in the end. Just off the post. And as you can see earlier... He got a really close chance as well. So maybe that shot uh, accuracy needs to be improved. But lovely ball from Brown to Armstrong. We might be struggling with just the one strike. We might have to change the formation to a 4 triple 2 But have a look at that after the game. But anyway, May into Kennedy. Puts it in. Lalkovic. Oh, Mella gets it back into Brown. Marcus Brown gets the goal to put us back ahead in this game against Blackpool. It's been quite the it's been quite the game. I mean, we were 1-0 up. We went 2-1 down. And now we're leading 3-2. It's been quite the game, as I've just said. You know, we don't need to repeat him. But Armstrong might not to, to this one goal a match thing, but secretly I'd love him to keep you know keep it on. But Brown, a fantastic game from him, uh, scoring two goals and an 8.8 .8 rating. Um, but anyway, we've got another corner. Kennedy puts it in. Robertson gets it. Eight. Armstrong, have shot, pal. Unlucky. <laughs> Thompson. Still Thompson. Don't lose it. Donahue. To Burgess. Kennedy. Lalkovic. Brown. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Brown could have got his hat-trick then, but it looks like a Blackpool breakaway. Vassal's got the ball. He shoots, but McGee gets it. Luke McGee saves it. Good goalkeeper McGee's, I think. Um, the defence might, might need to be improved a tad, but oh well. Um, we will bring Brett Pittman on for Chowdhury. He's played well, to be fair, today, but on, on the other hand, the same token, if you like. Um, he has missed a lot of good chances. Now, I don't want to take Armstrong off. Oh, God. Um, Do we take him off? To be fair, there's not really anyone who can play as striker. So ignore that. Um, we'll bring Naismith on for Lalkovic. He hasn't really done a great deal today, if we're honest. Um, if we're honest with ourselves, you know, he hasn't done a great deal. 15 minutes to go then here in the game against Blackpool. Really, this isn't the important game. The important game is against uh, Northampton. Well, mm, I suppose you could treat them as equally important because a check try trophy doesn't matter. Whereas, you know, well, you know, if you win it, it's nice, I suppose. And we're at that sort of stage now that we've got a, a good chance of winning it. So why not go for it? But this game's also important because if we don't, if you know, if we lose out on the playoffs, say, by three points, uh, we'd massively regret it at the end of the season. Oh, dear. Kelly. May. Back to Kelly. Puts to Nay Smith. Put it into boxes for Armstrong. Oh, no! Armstrong, he missed it. Oh, unlucky. He's out on the wing. Donahue into the box. Back for Nay Smith. Pittman. Oh, so close. So close. For Brett Pittman, as it said on the bottom of the screen, then. Can. Come on, Armstrong. Come on, Armstrong. We want you to get one goal again, but we'll probably lose it 3-3 free, free now, knowing us. But uh, now Smith's got the ball. Lovely ball up to Armstrong. Can he go it alone? No, he can't. Mella. Long stuff. Kai Kai. Up to Vassal. Get that ball. Oh, nice one, Big E. Flings himself in front of the ball, as it says there. And this is going to be quite close. Kai Kai. Kai Kai again. Into Cullen. Oh, my God. That's so close. And I'll tell you what. Blackpool are firmly on top here in this game. It's quite a shock. Um... 
we've used all our substitutions, so what we're going to do, we're going to bring Brown back. That's the sensible thing to do, I'd say. Um, and have two playmakers. I know it doesn't work, but whatever. Um, but make you defensive now, just so we do sit back a little bit. And uh, also put you as defensive. There you go, wing back. No, defensive full back we want you on. There we go, Sunshine. Hopefully, we don't lose now. We probably will. Because, as you know, my tactics aren't too brilliant. But, you know, we've led Liverpool to eight one wins against Monaco. So, think of that what you will. And that, I think this is exactly the same tactic as a Liverpool one. But, anyway, Armstrong. Man. Keep the ball. Never mind. <sighs> Long staff. Burgess put it back. Nice. Thompson. Don't play any silly stuff like Thompson's just done. Nice ball out, though, from McGee to Kennedy. Armstrong. Lose the ball to Ryan. Ameson. Can the number 20 get it? Yes, he can. Thompson. Fling it out then, McGee. Nice. Nice, Smith. Brown. I think they all want him to get... I think they all want Armstrong to get another goal as well. Oh, shocking, that is. Burgess. Meller. Nice ball from May to May Smith. This is our prime chance. Nay Smith and Kennedy. Armstrong. Yes. Yes. Get in. Adam Armstrong keeps his goal and game ratio up and scores again. And as uh, in that, in so doing that, he's uh, finished off the game firmly here at Fratton Park. And that's another three points to add to the total. Fantastic stuff. Uh, it was really due to a Kennedy header, which is a bit dodgy. Uh, but he half volleyed it, and that is a goal for Adam Armstrong. That's fantastic to see. And it's brilliant that he's doing so well at the club uh, at the moment. He, we might not get him permanently, of course, because if he's doing this well, then the you know the eyebrows are going to be raised at Newcastle. I, don't, I think it might be Benitez that's still there. But hopefully if we get up to the Championship, they might let us have him, they might let us have him on loan again. Who knows? But he's in through on goal again. Armstrong shoots. Oh, just wide it looked there. Um, but oh well, in the end, it doesn't really matter. We're going to win this game. Pittman, Brown, Kennedy on the wing. Can we get another goal? Kennedy, May. Oh, we've lost the ball. Long staff, Cullen. He'll just pass it to that other player there. He's just going to wait, actually. Boyal. To Mella. And that's going to fizzle out. McGee's going to pick it up. Oh, no, he's not. He's going to, he's going to run it out, but he puts it into touch. If he doubt, kick it out. And uh, we have won this game. Shrewsbury look like they've lost. Um, so that means that we go into the playoffs. But Charlton, Charlton did win. Uh, we're still six points away from Oxford in second. But fantastic stuff. And now our focus turns, and our attention turns rather, to the game in the Checker Trade Trophy. We've switched the team round a little bit for this game against Northampton in the semi-final. Gareth Evans gets a rare start. I've just gone on the rotation option, to be honest, on the um, quick pick tool. And then Ollie Hawkins gets a, a, a game above Adam Armstrong, who I'm sure will come on as an impact player should we be losing um, in the second half. Let's just talk inside my, you know, my glass, shall I? Because that really works. And that, it's a bit like a micro a megaphone, isn't it? But it doesn't really work. If I'm deafening you now, I can only apologise. I just don't, just don't get what I'm, I'm doing. I've lost the will to live. Oh, dear. Right, Northampton is all that stands between us and the Checker Trade Trophy final. Sure, that's good. Surprised to see none of the under-23 teams get into it. Um, this sage, if I'm right, I might be completely, you know, barking up a, what's it, tree, whatever it is. I don't know. But I think Coventry won this last year, so, you know, it wasn't under the, one of the under-23 teams. And you'd expect them to do well, but I suppose some of the senior players don't get used anymore in the under-23 squads, which means that, you know, their quality's good down. But still, it's still a good team. And Hawkins to Naismith to O'Keefe, about five players combined there. Could be bothered to take a shot, but O'Keefe gets the goal. Um, to put us ahead. Of course, Northampton Town, if, I, if I'm right, uh, no, they're in League One. They've got Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank in charge. I don't know if that's the same in real life, but I know he's at Burton uh, and at QPR. But I know, you know he's gone somewhere. Could that be Northampton? I know, because I know we, I'd like to say, I know he's gone somewhere, but I don't know where, where it is. Anyway, Hawking, straight after that goal. Kyle Bennett to May. To May again. O'Keefe, now Smith shoots, and it's a goal. Really, it wasn't a rebound at all. It was just crazy stuff in the box. And uh, Northampton Town have a mountain to climb, but as Marvin Gaye said, ain't no mountain high enough. If you want to get the uh, person who we duetted with that song with, it's quiz time, you know what? Just put it down in the comments, you know, make some sort of reference. Go like, that was the time I said it, because else you won't really get what I'm on about. 50 minutes in, though, here at uh, the Sixth Field, something or other arena, whatever it is. Um, the fans probably all left for Northampton now. Well, to be fair, I have noticed that um, the fan base for the Checker Trade Trophy is dwindling. Um, what I mean by that is that, well, it's not, that's a bit of a stupid terminology word to use. Terminology word, they're two of the same things. <laughs> that's a stupid word to use because uh, the attendances have been quite low throughout the season. But I suppose it's really 
realistic for real life because a lot of people have protested against it. Of course, the former Johnston paint trophy, you know, that was fine. But I think the problem is, is because, hmm, let's gloss over that, the fact that there was a lot of, uh, no, the goal won't stand, that's good. Jerome Thomas is down at this level now. He used to play for Palace, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Blimey. And he used to play here. He played in the Premier League for us. Blimey. Um, and then didn't play any games at Arsenal. That was a good signing for them, wasn't it? Blimey. But played at Charlton in the Premier League for a lot of years. That's interesting. But I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, the Johnston's paint trophy used to be good um, in terms of, you know, it was just League 1 and League 2 teams. But as I understand it now, it's because there's a bit of a protest about, you know, it's because there are under 23 teams running it. That's a bit unfair. Um, and to be honest, it's a bit of a rubbish competition anyway. But there's been protests about it, so I guess that's uh, fair enough in the game. But I'll keep to Pittman. Nearly, yeah, nearly put it 3-0 up. I'm not going to say the game's all over, because we did have a game against Doncaster earlier on. I don't know if we did that one on video or not. I can't quite remember. We were 2-0 up anyway, and we lost that one 3 to. But O'Keefe, Ollie Hawkins, lovely ball to Naismith on the wing. Good player, Naismith is. I think we've got a good attacking um, depth of players. We just haven't really got that star striker permanently anyway. You know, Armstrong's performing for us at the moment, but is he going to perform every game? That's the question. We'll soon find out by the end of the season. Yeah, and we'll soon find out whether, at the end of the season whether um, Newcastle realise that Adam Armstrong might well do a job for them. Whether they're in the Premier League, of course, um, or the Championship, we don't know. And Long's just missed an easy chance there. They could be in the Championship next year, could our, uh, Armstrong's team, Newcastle. So, But then, of course, this is, a contract might run out at the end of the season. You never know. You know, it could be one of those silly things. Can we click on him? No, we can't. All right, then, never mind. We've got a highlight for Northampton. Powell, Long, who missed the clear-cut chance earlier. Powell again. Jerome Thomas. On the edge of the box, Bowditch, lovely shot from Dean Bowditch, is it Bowditch or Bowditch? I'm not quite sure, but a lovely goal from him, credit to him there. But that max our position as leader is a little bit less secure. We've, they've, half, they've half the deficit, uh, that's a good government aim, isn't it, half the deficit. But lovely finish from Bowditch there, and McGee wasn't going to get that. But uh, lovely, top corner stuff, and it looks like in the other game that's come for winning that game, hot at... Uh, Half time one nil. Can Lincoln come back and win that? To be fair, if Lincoln won this competition, that'd be a real surprise. Um, considering obviously they've come from the uh, national league last year. Just have a quick look at Armstrong. No, never mind. Uh, can we have a look at him through here? His contract. Well, twenty twenty. Never mind. But Newcastle, where? How are they doing? I oh, know they're in the Premier League, obviously, but the thirteenth. Let's gloss over the fact that Southampton in the relegation zone. We had nothing to do with that. Right. Let's start the second half. No subs to be made. But just saying, you know, we're not playing brilliantly at the moment. We're playing all right. Um, because we're still ahead, but, you know, we're not playing fantastically. 48 minutes in here at the Sixfields Arena, or whatever it is. I don't really care. We're winning, so... I don't really care what we're playing, whether it's Fratton Park or Wembley, or the Marikanar, or the... Ista no, not the Istanbul. The San Siro, that's the one. Or the... Signal Iduna Park, or the Allianz Arena, or... Um, I've already said San Siro. Or the New Camp, or wherever else. I don't know. Anyway, Crooks to Thomas. If they go 2-2 two -two now, it's not good for us. Bowditch. Back to Thomas, but he loses the ball. Naismith. That's a poor ball from Naismith. In fact, just because Ollie Hawkins did badly there, he's going to come off. Armstrong's going to come on as an impact sub. Technically, he's going to be an impact sub because, you know, something needs to happen. There needs to be an impact. Uh, hence why he's going to be coming on. But um, Pittman uh, can go back to central midfield. Um, we'll put Brown there. And that looks good to me. And then we can play Pittman. As um, deep line playmaker, there we go. All sorted, all sorted. Thomas, Riley, into the box for long. <sighs> Apparently the fans thought the header was in. What fans? Apparently none are there. Anyway, 20 minutes to go. Bowditch has injured the goal scorer for them, which is a real of a shame, really. But Lincoln have uh, levelled the game 63 minutes in. We're generally getting the goal for them at home. So can't all Lincoln have winning now? Wow, fantastic stuff for Lincoln. Not all over yet, of course, there. No, nor is it all over here. That's a very important thing to say. Damien McCrory then. Not such a good ball, really, to the number 23. Phillips puts it out. Yeah. Oh, dear. Bennett's got it. Right, come on, number 20. Tackle him. Tackle him. Tackle him. Nice, Thompson. Very good, but they win the ball back straight away. Couldn't really do much about that. Pull. Pittman gets it due to a poor pass. Brown. Pull gets it again. O'Keefe. Bennett. Shoots, and it's a goal. Carl Bennett. Lovely stuff. Beating the goalkeeper at his near post. Bit like, uh, well, not too similar, but a little bit like the goal that... Uh, Leroy Sarnay scored last weekend against Liverpool. I only mean that because it went in at the near post. So I don't really know why I was talking about that. But Armstrong, don't think he's going to do his 100% a goal, you know, game rating. But that was a lovely finish from Carl Bennett. And uh, I think this game is all but over. And that's fantastic. But here we go. Here's a highlight. Can they get back into the game 
Now, Crooks. Long. Lovely ball to Bennett. The, is it the Bennett brother? I don't know. Mason Bennett. It's Mason Bennett, of course. One in place for Derby. They've got something to work with now. Absolutely right. It's 3-2. It's going to be really close. Let's go counter-attacking up. It, although, it might not make a difference. We've got a highlight straight after. Is it going to be 3-3? Three, 4-2. Three, it's not going to be a goal at all. O'Keefe. Brown. Armstrong. Into Bennett. Bennett puts it in. For nice Smith. Oh, I thought that had gone in. Technically, it had, but it had just gone over the bar uh, due to the free, uh, 2D highlights. Could have said, oh, no, it was in, but it wasn't. That was a poor ball from McCrory. If that costs us now, it's devastating. Thomas, back to Crooks. Into Croft. Kazim. Thomas! Oh! Goal line clears from Christian Burgess on a yellow card. And that is crazy stuff. We're going to bring a player on 88 minutes in. Why not? We'll bring Gareth Evans on. Uh, off, rather, for Stephen Kelly. Bennett on the ball. Brown. Pierre gets it nice. Luckily for them that it didn't get to Armstrong. Crooks wins it back off O'Keefe. Bennett. Long. Oh, God. Long. Long. Put it in for Bennett. It's free. Free. Oh, dear. Deary, deary, dear me. Let's cancel the changes. Oh, God. Brilliant. Fantastic. <sighs> what a game we've got here. We shouldn't be um, drawing it. Oh, no. We're not going to lose, are we? Paul. Croft. Long. Bennett. Croft. No way. No way. How has this happened? We're free to up. Now we're blooming losing. Right, panic stations. Panic stations indeed. Uh, Larkovich brings you on for Pittman. Put you up front. I know Larkovich isn't the best player up front, but regardless, I don't really care at this stage. Naismith can go up front as well. It's just crazy. We need to get a goal from somewhere. O'Keefe, okay, central attacking midfielder. Yes, please. I know you don't play there, but I don't really care. Come on. Just pump it into the box. That's all we want to do. Pump it into the box. Go route one. Wide play. Much more. Do all of that. Dribble less. Shoot on sight. And let's just go for it. Take more risks. Come on, lads. Oh, we cannot lose this. After me being really cocky at the start. Oh, we're tuning up within 12 minutes. Look at us. I think it's going to be all over, though, isn't it? It is, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. Let's pretend that never happened. Ah. Oh dear, 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 dear. What a day of management for me. This has been, we've just been sacked from Hensford in the other save. And now we've lost the Checker Tried Trophy semi-final. Fantastic. Right, we'll be back. Got all League One games left and we've only got 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 games left. So it's really the rundown now. We will play the games against, definitely the game against Oxford. Um, I think we'll play, we'll skip the Warsaw game and play against Wigan. And then the last episode will come um, with the last two games of the season, obviously. We've the game against Peter Brand in the season. So we're at the Czech Trade Trophy. We've got, just got the league to focus on now. No silverware for us in the first season. Or will there be? Will we, will we win the league? I doubt it, but anything can happen, I suppose. Just like Northampton have proved, and Link can get into the final as well. Well done to them. Anyway, I've been TIJ. Thank you so much for watching. The next episode should be out on Friday at 6pm, but it might move around because obviously the Hensford save has finished, but I'll have a look at that and see what we can do to move in for it. Anyway, I've been TIJ. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Fingers crossed on Friday. Goodbye.